everybody and welcome to this video and in this video what we are going to do is we are going to um, make a zine and the thing that I'm using as an example in this uh, let me do this is this little guy this is a little mini zine um, and it is done with one piece of paper and so you open it up like this and you just print on one side of the paper. And what I did here with this is I took this and it's, um, if you remember me talking about that Jalo podcast I'm a part of, I thought I would do this for the people who listen to the show where um, I take like my favorite bits of a movie and in this case it's blood and black lace which is an amazing film everyone go watch it um and put like what would this be like one two three four five six seven of my favorite bits from the movie now this is a prototype and these aren't my seven favorite bits of the movie these are just the images i pulled off of google to do this and if you notice, some of the folds aren't correct because this was like my first idea at it. Um, I have since fixed them and make it work now. But you see this little cut in the middle, and we'll talk about the cut in a little bit. So you, you once you print on just the one side, you fold. And then once you have it like this, you go like this and put it together. And then it all folds up like that. So we have our front cover and then page one and two, page three and four, page five and six, or I think I fucked that up. And then here we go. Um, so this is a fun little thing. And um, I was thinking about um, different things to do. And so, and a zine could be anything you want it to be. You can just draw on each one individually. Like if you just took a piece of paper like this and folded it up and then drew each piece of paper and you didn't even want it to be a mass produced thing, just that one, you can do that. You can do whatever you want. It is, you're publishing your art, your poetry, your stories, your photos, whatever. Like you could do whatever you want. So um, these are a lot of fun to make. Um, and some people can and do, um, just like glue stick th these two pages together. Um, so those don't like pop up and then these two pages together, just do the corners. So it'll just turn and open like a little book there, but I'm going to show you some stuff that I like to do and things I'm going to do for this experiment. But as I'm doing this, I just realized that I need to set this up completely different or else you're not going to be able to see what the fuck I'm doing. So I'm going to change that. So here we are. <clears throat> I am in OBS now so I could go back and forth between shit to talk to you about. So one of the things that I like to do when I'm making a zine is to use things like... Oh, I can't show that. So one of the things I like to do is use um, security envelopes. And I usually use, like, if I get something in the mail, I'm like, oh, shit, look at that. Look at the design on that. So this one is, like, this, like, kind of squiggly line shit. That one's pretty cool. Now, some of them have, like, um, words underneath it. So when you photocopy this kind of stuff, the words will show up. So um, be advised of that if that matters. But I also have a drawer, drawer here where um, a bunch of envelopes like this I keep. So like this one um, is that cool kind of deal thing right there. And I'll show you how I'm going to use these in a minute here. Um, oh, this one's like one of my favorites. Let me pull this one out. What's this from the post office? Jeez. Okay. Um, now, usually what I do with these is I just open them up and take a picture because my scanner is kind of shit. So I'll just kind of open it and take a picture inside the envelope. And so not only do I get stuff like this, but I get it in weird um, 
in elongated patterns that I really like a lot. What else do I have here? So I'm going to try to get eight of these. This one's great. You'll find this one on a lot of security envelopes. It's like a, I don't know how to describe it, like a crosshatch. Like that, that shows up really, really well. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. And then if you do it like that, it looks completely different. So I think I'm going to use this. I don't know how the green is going to show up. I'm going to have to probably um, do contrast on it to black and white it. Um, that's kind of cool. I might use that. What else do we got here? So this one's just striped. So that looks pretty cool. And another thing I wanted to try to do, <clears throat> just to do something different, is that I fucked up in printing this. This is the racing form. Um, and I had a page that I didn't think was printed on, and then I put it in, and it came out, and it was printed on because of the front side, back side the printing deal. So I kind of wanted to use this, too, because especially on this side here, it's so fucked up. It just looks like mess. So I kind of want to use that. So those are going to be my eight choices here. So how I'm going to do this, because my scanner, like I said, is sometimes working and sometimes not. So I'm just going to take pictures from my phone of each of these things. And honestly, one of the reasons why I love this is that it's all fucking, like the lines aren't straight. Some of them bend, some of them kind of, it's just, it's cool. And this thing just looks like 80s, like skate gear. Fucking love it. Now I have my eight little pages. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these, I'm going to shrink them, um, and then put them on each of the squares of the eight things. And I'll show you me doing that in just a second here. Okay, so um, I'm down here. Um, so I took the pictures and airdropped them to my MacBook Pro, um, or Air. And actually, <clears throat> everything I'm about to show you, you could probably do easier in a program called InDesign, if you have InDesign. Um, you probably also do this easier in Photoshop, or a program like Photoshop that you're comfortable with working in. I... I'm doing this the hard way because I'm a fucking idiot and I don't want to buy any more software. So I'm going to do this the absolute hardest way possible um, by doing it the way I'm about to show you. So let's do this. So, oh yeah, I'll show you what these look like. Um, so this is the first one here. And that's the next one. Kind of not thrilled about it, but I think when I play with the color, it'll be a little bit better. This looks like madness. It hurts my eyes, so I like it. Um, this didn't turn out as good as I hoped it would, but, you know, whatever. This always looks good. I've used this um, kind of envelope on a ton of shit, and I fucking just love it. Um... This looks exactly how I thought it would look. This is blurry as shit, but um, I think when I fuck with the color, it'll, um, I don't know, it'll be whatever. And then this looks exactly as it should. And that's it. All right, so there is that. Now what we are going to do is go and get rid of this guy. And now we're back looking at... Um, my file for the uh, Blood and Black Lace little mini zine I did here. So how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to explain this to you guys. Um, I unfolded my zine here. So in order to show you how this is going to work for you guys, I'm going to have to do it this way. Okay? So even though you might be able to see through... Try not to focus on seeing through this, okay? All right, so this is what your thing is supposed to look like here, okay? So when you get your piece of paper, um, these are the boxes. So front, 
back. Seven, six. And then over here, it's upside down, okay? So two, three, four, what number is that? Oh, four, five. Gosh, my penmanship is shit. There's it is, there's the fives. There's is is, there's the fives. So when you get your paper, um, let's do the folding bit so you understand the folding bit. Um, you take it and you fold it in half, okay? And you do the thing. Or actually, I'll even do it this way so hopefully the numbers are legible for you. So you fold it like this. Long and skinny, okay? Long and skinny. You fold it that way first, okay? And then you unfold it and you fold it short and fat. Short and fat. Okay, let's not let's not put the cut in it yet. Okay. Then you unfold the whole thing, okay? And you fold one side into the fat side on both sides. Okay, so we fold it like this, and then you fold it up again into the short and fat. You cut it in the thing up to the, just so this one page is open. And then when you have it, you could go like this and do the thing where you push it together. Probably should have just gotten a new sheet and showed you how to do this now that I think about it because this is all wanting to not bend in the way it should bend. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. There it is. Oh my gosh. And then you just put it together and boom. So now if I if I read this correctly, it should be front and then to 2 to 3. Let's see. Oh, I think 2 to 3. Four to five. Oh, yes. Six to seven. Oh, my gosh. And then eight or the back cover. Guys, we did it. That's all you have to do. And then, again, you could do the glue, the glue job if you want. So, the first item up for bits that we are going to be. So, the first thing I'm going to be pulling into this thing is... Boom. Okay, so this is huge. We are not going to constrain the proportions here. And we are gonna go from three. No, we'll go two, two, three. Boom. Okay, so that looks good. We'll put this guy right up here. And I'm gonna try to make little frames around it. Um, and we're gonna do stay on page. We're going to raise the exposure and negative the saturation. So here we are. Um, I have all my things set up and I have them um, saturated the way I want. For those of you who don't know, I can't print color on my printer. The print the color printing things are fucked up and I can't do it. So everything I print is in black and white. So I'm trying to really lay into that here. But um, I realized for my cover, I don't know if I like this. So I'm going to move this guy. Um, who am I going to switch him out with? So as long as I keep all my shit within these boxes, this is going to be fine. Should I just print it and see if it works? Now that that's all done, let's see how this worked. So we have one sheet here so this is my blood and black lace one and then this is the one i'm working on now okay um this turned out okay it turned out okay this is a little light right here um but that's okay because it was really blurry and when you see what i'm going to do in a second you'll understand so remember how i was talking about the folds okay so let's do the folds here so we are going to fold long like a hottest dog. Yep, that's pretty good. Okay, so we do that once. Then we're gonna open it up. 
we are going to fold it again. This time, short and fat. So long and skinny and short and fat. So as you can see, I have a little bit coming over here from this picture here. Um, and if you look here, that's the middle of the page and I have way too much border on that side and not enough there. Okay, so now we take it like this. Now, we're gonna take these sides and corners and we are going to fold them like so into the fold in the middle. And I will show you what that looks like as soon as I do this. So here, I folded this up. Okay, folded it up. And now we're gonna do that again here into the middle, like a normal person would do. Uh-oh, that's a bad crease. So now we go back like this, or wait, no, like this, and we're gonna cut that middle bit right along that seam. Okay. And then we are going to fold long and skinny again. And we're going to push this out. Wait, I need to get in there a little bit more. Okay, and we're gonna push this out. Oh my God. And we're gonna fold it. I don't think I cut far enough. Nope, I don't think I did. So I'm just gonna do a little snip. And a little snip. Okay. Boom, boom, like that. Like we're playing some kind of game of some sort. And then we have our back. Okay, and here you go. Boom. Now these aren't perfect squares because as you can see I still am a little over there so what that tells me when I do this and then this is still a bit off there that looks okay it's not perfect but it's okay and that is borderline acceptable all right so I'm gonna fix that when I get to this but now I'm going to do the folding same thing with this one. long and skinny short and fat. Let's do it. Into the middle. So, let's do the cut. And a fold. And this is going to be my cover, because that's the one I like the best. And there it is. Alright, so... That is going to be on the cover. So now let's go back to here. It's actually a lot easier to do this if you just get a piece of paper out and set the paper up the way you want the paper set up and then just like number how you want it and draw lines with a ruler to um, <clears throat> separate the squares. It's a lot fucking easier. Okay, so now I gotta find what I'm gonna be putting on top of all this shit. I'm not just going to make a book of security envelopes. That would be silly. So I was looking at my spreadsheet of poems here. This one will work just to illustrate said point. Yeah. So this is my thing I did. So now we're going to print this fucking thing out and see how it goes. And make sure this looks good. Okay, that looks okay. Good start, good start. Okay. So here, the thing's a bit thing, but this is okay. So we got one page. That page looks okay. That page looks okay. It looks okay. I just fucked up the fold. So let's try to not fuck up the fold on this one, shall we? All right. So let's look at this together, shall we? Okay. So here we are. Um, Chicken Strips, by me, Matt Wall. Let, let's read this together, shall we? After I take a shit, I look into the bowl. If my turds look like deep-fried chicken strips, one of two things happen. 
I get worried or I get hungry. Today, I'm hungry. And then the last page is just my website. If that little poem spoke to you, you might want more. So here we go. This is my little, my little mini zine. This worked out okay. I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. So um, maybe I'll make a bunch of these and just start putting them out in um, crosswalks or something like that. That should be good. So I hope this was informative. Let me know down below. I swear to God, if you guys have sat through this, mwah, I love you. Um, but let me know if you want to do like a live stream kind of thing where we do a workshop together and you guys are making your shit and I'm making my shit. And we just kind of put some stuff like this together. Let me know. So until next time, bye-bye, everybody.